showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use, and then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? painting with a color popper. Yeah, I look silly. We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, yeah. tasty in salads, but we'll go to the onion planet when we've got our colors sorted. like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the paint planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Black, white, red, 
blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. What do you think? are dirty. They are. Uh. No wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see. A toothbrush? No. That's too small for this job. Room? Hmm. No, too scratchy. Aha! A sponge! This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and... Ta-da! Voila! A masterpiece! Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? He needs orange paint. Hmm. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. That's it. I haven't mixed the right colors yet. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Orbit, TK, and I got all mixed up by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. 
there was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty, and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Goodbye, Pink Planet! <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. You're just in time. It's Cosmic Day, the day where everyone from all over the cosmos celebrates friendship. Oh, oh, it's my turn, it's my turn! <laughs> <laughs> Emma's cousin Mia sent us presents. Orbit hasn't opened his yet. Come on! I bet you it's a ping pong table. No, a circus monkey! <gasps> a giant robot ninja! Maybe it's the world's smallest ping pong playing ninja monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? Ooh, that's an ice hockey puck. Oh, but how am I supposed to play with this? There's no ice on the rocket ship. Uh. Hmm, Orbit has a point. I don't have a place to play with my snowboard either. Wait a minute. All of these gifts are things you play with in the snow. What a perfect way to spend Cosmic Day together. That sounds like a mission. <laughs> it sure does. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Did I miss Cosmic Day? No, it's today. And we want to find a place where we can celebrate it by playing together in the snow. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, ice cream yeah. planet? Close. But the only snow we'd find there would be in snow cones. Magic planet. Hmm. Cosmic Day is magical but not cold enough for snow or ice. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. <laughs> yes, the winter planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Someone else might send us more presents. <laughs> oh, look at this. Huh? 
What's so great about an old sled? <laughs> Let me show you. Huh? <laughs> um... Hold on to your gears. <laughs> That's my sled. <laughs> Look how fast we're going. Okay. Hey, where did all these snowballs come from? Maybe it was the abominable snowman. <laughs> What's abominable mean? <laughs> abominable means very unpleasant. Oh, Orbit, I'm kidding. There's no such thing as an abominable snowman. <laughs> come on, let's play snowball tag. Everybody run! <laughs> You broke my sled, then took all of my favorite snowballs. I was just trying to get them back. Oh, we're... Uh, we're sorry, Mr. Snowman. Fred. My name is Fred. Is there some way we can make it up to you, Fred? Hmm. Hey, maybe you'd like to play hockey with us. It's an awesome game to play with friends. That was so much fun! 
lucky to have my snowboard. I'm sorry for breaking your sled. And you can have my abominable snowman. He'll help keep you company. Oh, oh, you can have my hat to help keep you warm. And if you wouldn't mind holding on to my puck, it's my new favorite toy. But you can play with it until we come back. Thank you all so much. And thank you for making this the best cosmic day ever. I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's cousin Mia sent us presents for Cosmic Day. They were all meant for playing with in the snow. So we went to the Winter Planet to have some holiday fun. Orbit wasn't very happy with his gift, so we tried to show him that you can still have fun without fancy presents. But things didn't start off so well, and Orbit wasn't convinced. Not until we met a lonely snowman named Fred. And even better, he helped us to remember what Cosmic Day was all about, celebrating friendship. A happy Cosmic Day for everyone. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. Bye. One motoring mouse, isn't he? Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The sports planet would be a great place to go. But after we get all fixed up. <laughs> Not the stinky foot planet. No one wants to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Now that looks like a place where we can get ourselves fixed up. Yay! Yes, that's the tune-up planet. Excellent place for robots to get upgraded. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
stop the tuna planet. Rockin' robots! It looks like this place can turn us into super robots. We can't stand a chance. Ha ha! Wait a minute. Why do you want to change yourselves? We can find other ways to catch Squeak. I suppose we could, but this is more fun. Yeah. But. <laughs> oh, I see the upgrade I want. With those new fins, I'll be able to zig and zag at the same time. But you fly great with your boots now, Rob. I'm not sure... Look! I can get my dead arms. Those will help me round up our metal mouse. I guess that's neat. But what's wrong with the arms you have? Those are magnet arms, Emma. Ooh! Aha! A Turbo 5000 wheel. I can upgrade my wheel to one of those. But you're really fast now, TK. But this will make me even faster. But I still don't see why you're not happy with the way you are. Upgrades are a robot thing, Emma. Maybe you don't understand because you're not a robot. <sighs> well, I guess if it makes you happy, but don't worry, Emma. It will be fun. Let's go! Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! Just push the button! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like getting upgrades tickles. Control? <laughs> I am the Magnet Man. Check him out, TK. Take a closer look. Ma uh, that's a little too close. Maybe your new arms are too powerful, Orbit. <laughs> Are they cool or what? Yeah, they're really nice, Rob. But listen, everyone. You won't need your upgrades after all, because I think I figured out a way to catch Squeak without them. Why, Emma? Now we can outrun him, outmaneuver him, and magnetically stop him in his tiny tracks. Oh, there he is! Get that mouse! to try harder. Shouldn't we try to be smarter? What do you mean, Emma? I'm not sure that your upgrades are such a great idea. I'm afraid you're gonna end up hurting. I'm on it. Leave it to me. To yourselves. You can't outmaneuver me now. Wow! What cornering! may have damaged your fins. Well, that won't stop me from catching them this time. <laughs> Maybe it will. Don't worry, Rob. I'm on it. I'm going full speed this time. <laughs>
made you better. They just made you different. Emma's right. Even with our upgrades, we couldn't cast Squeak. I liked you all just the way you were. I guess we'll just never be able to tag Squeak. Like I was trying to say before, I think I might know a way. Would you like some cheese, Squeak? Huh? I'm glad you like it, Squeak. Oh, and by the way, you're it! <laughs> no matter how fast he is, he will always come for a bit of cheese. Okay, let's get rid of these upgrades. Then it's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we could never catch Squeak when we played tag, so we went to the Tune-Up Planet to get upgrades to help us catch him. Our new upgrades made us faster and able to turn quicker and suck things up. But they didn't help us catch Squeak at all. We learned that changing didn't make us better, just different. And that a good way to catch a mouse is with a nice piece of cheese. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, tuna friend. Ooh. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Oh, did you hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. Is that a ring name, TK? Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
next stop, the Language Planet. wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful! What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes! We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be... Uh -huh. gone, ...shelved. Oh dear, it seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait, there's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he is, over there. Yoo-hoo, over here. Jonah. Speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry, we'll catch him. Right, Emma? <laughs> uh, you guys go ahead. We'll clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. <sighs> I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Hmm. Hola! Hello! <gasps> wow! It's a talking book! A Spanish talking book! Neat! What a great way to learn a language! <laughs> Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing, zang, Zuna. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> <laughs> Sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. <laughs> Not loud enough. Symbols. This should work. Still not loud enough. Aha! Mm, that's pretty loud. I'll say. Please, you must be quiet in the language library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies, usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf, and that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. 
But we don't know sign language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Oh. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes, this is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun! And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah, you did it, TK. You're speaking Robozania. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah! <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa. That's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, hi, everyone. We're playing Rocket Tag. Come on! Ha <laughs> I'm Mitt, and I'm gonna get you! I don't think so! <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> oh, you're it! Mm. Hey, Emma, aren't you playing tag? Hmm? No, I'm reading. Reading what? A storybook about a gallant green knight. I wish I could meet a real knight. One who is brave and wears armor and has gracious manners? Like in my book. Hey, there must be some place in the galaxy where we can meet a knight. Huzzah! That sounds like we have a mission! You know what that means! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can meet a real knight. That sounds like a noble idea. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Treehouse planet? I don't think we'll find a knight there. Too hard to climb a tree in armor. Bath planet? Can a knight take a bath in his armor? Yeah! The medieval planet! <laughs> That's perfect! We're sure to find a knight there! <laughs> yes, the medieval planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! <sighs> Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
next stop, the medieval planet. It's made by the best blacksmith in the galaxy. Uh, uh, sure, but you dropped your uh, uh, shield. Mine. Uh. Well, that was a bit rude. I don't understand it. The Green Knight in my story was so polite and charming. Look, he's coming back. I bet he wants to apologize. Let me guess. There's something you'd like to say to us. Yes, there is. Ahem. I challenge you, Sir Rob, to an archery match. Archery? <laughs> You're wrong! the magic word. Magic word? That's easy. Finally, some manners. The magic word is please. No. <laughs> huh? 
What other magic word is there? Abracadabra? Castle? Huzzah? <laughs> I bet the Green Knight doesn't even have a magic word. Do too. I don't believe you. I think you've forgotten it. I have not. It's fiddlesticks. <laughs> fiddlesticks. <laughs> I said it. Now you have to let Rob go free. What? <laughs> Fine. But the last one of the stocks is a rotten egg. Wow! I win, but <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Whoa, what happened here? Oh, are you okay? Here, we'll help get you out. Huh? Why would you help me after the way I treated you? Because it's important to be helpful, courteous, and polite to others. Even if others don't always have manners of their own. Mm. I don't know what to say. I guess I could be more courteous and polite, only... I don't know how. I have a book that might help. It's all about a good and gallant knight. I could lend it to you, if you say the magic word. Fiddlesticks? Oh, no, wait. Not that word. I know. Please. Huzzah! He's got it. Thank you. Aw, oh, you're welcome. I'd say our gallant Green Knight is off to a great start. I'd say this is one noble mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? went to the medieval planet to meet a great and gallant knight, like the one in Emma's book. Only the green knight we met was anything but gallant. He wasn't polite or helpful at all. All the green knight did was misbehave, and he ended up getting stuck in the stocks. Even though he had been mean to us, we decided to help him out, and the green knight realized what it meant to be gallant. He even borrowed my storybook, so he could learn more about being a good and gallant knight. Huzzah! A greatly gallant mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, 